Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this episode of Ask a Nurse, I'll be answering your questions about dengue fever, such as what is dengue fever? What are the symptoms of dengue fever? And how is dengue fever diagnosed and treated? Dengue fever, which is also referred to as just dengue, is a viral infection that is transmitted through the bite of an infected mosquito. It is the most common mosquito-borne disease in the world. In fact, half of the world's population is at risk for dengue. Dengue is common in tropical and subtropical areas such as the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, South and Central America, Africa, and the Pacific Islands. Within the U.S., areas with increased risk of dengue include U.S. territories, such as Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, as well as states such as Florida, Texas, Arizona, California, and Hawaii. The viruses that cause dengue fever include dengue virus 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the main types of mosquitoes that carry these viruses include the Aedes aegypti mosquito and the Aedes albopictus mosquito. These are the same types of mosquitoes that transmit the Zika virus, yellow fever virus, and the chikungunya virus. Approximately 80% of individuals who become infected with the dengue virus do not exhibit symptoms. For people who do exhibit symptoms, symptoms usually begin within two weeks of being bitten by an infected mosquito. Symptoms often include fever, nausea and vomiting, a decrease in white blood cells, and aches and pains, including joint pain, bone pain, and pain behind the eyes. And this pain can be so severe that this disease is often referred to as break bone fever. About one out of every 20 people who become sick with dengue will develop severe dengue, which can cause severe bleeding, organ failure, and death. Symptoms of severe dengue include severe abdominal pain and tenderness, persistent vomiting, difficulty breathing, and bleeding, such as bleeding from the nose and gums, vomiting blood, and passing blood in the stool. In terms of diagnosis of dengue fever, your provider will review your symptoms and ask about any recent travel, especially to areas where dengue is common. If dengue fever is suspected, then blood tests may be ordered. These tests will check for the presence of the virus or antibodies to the virus in the blood sample. So antibodies are proteins that your body develops to help fight off the infection. Unfortunately, there are no antiviral medications or other medications available to treat dengue fever. So treatment is just supportive. Individuals without warning signs of a severe infection are typically encouraged to get as much rest as possible, take acetaminophen to control the fever and reduce pain, and to drink plenty of fluids. Individuals with severe dengue fever may require hospitalization for the administration of IV fluids and blood transfusions. The best way to prevent dengue fever is to protect yourself from mosquito bites. This includes using an insect repellent, wearing loose-fitting, long-sleeved shirts and long pants, and taking steps to control mosquitoes in and around your home. In addition, there is a dengue vaccine available to children between the ages of 9 and 16 who have had a previous dengue infection and live in an area where dengue is common. While dengue is not currently common in the continental U.S., it is on the rise due to travel-related cases as well as climate change. So when people travel internationally to areas where dengue is endemic, they can bring the disease back to the U.S., and then in terms of climate change, warmer temperatures and increased rainfall allow mosquito populations to thrive, which increases the risk of dengue spreading. That's it for this episode of Ask a Nurse. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button, stay informed, and stay well.